it looks as though he's going to kick off two minutes early. Let's try and get the teams, though. Seeley in goal for Manchester United, two, Clayton Blackmore, three, Lee Martin, four, Mal Donaghy, five, Mike Phelan, six, Gary Pallister, seven, Brian Robson, eight, Paul Ince, nine, Brian McClare, ten, Mark Hughes, and eleven, Lee Sharp. An early start, but at least you've got the Manchester United side there with uh, Blackmore at right back, Phelan right side of midfield, Robson and Ince through that midfield, Sharp down the left, and Hughes and McClare up front. Here's Robson. McClare shots, quite comfortably taken by goalkeeper Barabi. Alec Ferguson was saying it's the most important night in Manchester United's recent history. And really a special night for British football as well. United the last British survivors, and here's Lee Sharp making a great pass to Clare! A wonderful start for Manchester United! A fabulous start by United! And the speed and the wonderful skills of Lee Sharp is what completely undid Montpellier. And McClare was in there, who scored in every round of this competition so far. What a run by Sharp, what a start by United, and what a finish by McClare. And what problems for Montpellier. 1-0, Manchester United. In goes Robson. And another look at a great start for United. Well, that really takes your breath away. Phelan. Sharp trying to get in again. And he completely outstripped the uh, right back vice. It's not out of play yet. Now it is. Well, there's the scoreline. The opening goal in the opening minutes. Brian McClare for Manchester United. season and such a vital one what a start Pallister up there again for Manchester United the header comes from Phelan Robson trying to get underneath it the goalkeeper only half punching it away Sharp getting in there United putting on a lot of pressure here and get another corner wonderful atmosphere at Old Trafford that's really bubbling now well, I always felt it was a night that might well get it off your seats that's happened in the opening minutes. Sharp again with the corner for United. Up goes Pallister again. Ince tried to get in there, and the feet were high by Paul Ince. Well, let's have a look at the Montpellier team very quickly. That's how they are. Zacharian is the man who's going to be marking uh, Mark. Subrain, the number seven, is a Dutch international. Blanc is the man who means so much to them in defence. But watch this little Gilbert, the pole, the number 11, down that left flank. There's Akarian, who's marking Hughes, gets in first. I think he felt Hughes had a little bite at him after the ball had been played back to the goalkeeper. Pallister up well, here's Gilbert. As you'll have noticed from that uh, Montpellier team lineup, the Colombian Valderrama is one of their five substitutes. Souverain, the Dutchman, quickly challenged by Blackmore. Souverain. And a throw for Manchester United. There's Valderrama, unmistakable. Substitutes, of course, from each side. For Manchester United. Substitutes are Danny Wallace, Gary Walsh, Mark Robbins, Russell Beardsmore, and the manager's son, Darren Ferguson. Robson. Here's Phelan. 
Schaubert after him. Or rather, that's uh, Colletaire. Phelan. Colletaire in quickly. In comes Robson. It's his first uh, European game this season for Brian Robson. Missed the earlier games against uh, Pesci Munkash of uh, Hungary and Wrexham. Well, let's try and get a word from Trevor Francis after that breathtaking start. What about it, Trevor? It certainly was breathtaking. It was a marvellous run from Lee Sharp. He used his pace to great effect, but once he had gone past his marker, Bice, he had the intelligence to lift his head and play a nice little ball into Brian McClear, who finished clinically. It's just the start that United uh, wanted. McClear again. The referee comes from Italy, uh, Pierluigi Pireto, with two Italian linesmen. This is uh, Blanc. The captain. And back to sea. Slight miss kick there, I think, by Lee Martin. Hughes. Quickly challenged there by Lamotte. There's Jobin on the far side, and there's got to be an offside, good heavens. The uh, Italian uh, linesman is flagging, I think, for a throw. Trevor? Well, the linesman was sleeping there because Garcia was about 10 yards offside. Quite right. Lamotte. Here's Maldonaghi in, of course, the injured Steve Bruce. Backmore. Splonk. All into touch for a throw for Manchester United. Well, with the Italian referee kicking off two minutes early, we didn't even get a word with Neil Webb. Good evening to you, Neil. Good evening, Brian. Well, a great start for your club. Tremendous start. I thought a great ball from Mark Hughes to Lee Sharp, who did exceptionally well. And uh, although it's something you plan for, it's, uh, it's always a great bonus when you actually achieve it. Well, let's hope United can keep it going. There, of course, should be a European reminder. They mustn't concede anything here tonight, Manchester United. Away goals in the event but the tie finishing, finishing level on aggregate. Away goals do count double. Here's Jobert. This could be a problem. It's a goal, an own goal there by Martin. Well, he took the words out of my mouth. Jobert's cross, poor Lee Martin. That's a hammer blow for Manchester United. So we have two goals in the opening eight minutes. speedily here hammered in the low cross and Lee Martin sadly for United planting it wide of Les Sealy Trevor Francis well it's an absolute disaster for United because he wasn't really under pressure as you can see the Montpellier uh, forward there coming in isn't really coming in to threaten him at all he had time actually to stop the ball and pass it back to Les Sealy that's a terrible blow for United Montpellier again, hardened by that. Just as I was saying, the one thing they mustn't do is concede a goal, no matter how many they score. This makes it all the harder for them in France for the second leg in a fortnight's time. So, what a dramatic start with eight and a half minutes gone. Manchester United one, Montpellier one. This is Blanc, McClare's after him. Ball just out of play. McClare. First division without any chance now of uh, winning the championship and indeed in their 29 games they've uh, lost nine of them including their last two they've been going through a pretty rough patch lately it's a goal kick for Montpellier from a psychological point of view this is a uh, bit of a blow to Manchester United because 
the French team only conceded a goal in the first minute. Really but uh, to have been given that lift there by Lee Martin, it's given them a new uh, lift of life now. It's certainly quite the United supporters. Pallister up. Robson in. And he was just caught by the defender there. Lost the boot as well, Brian Robson. Paul Ince with that boot. Robson was just back after injury. As I was saying, his first European Cup tie since 84-85. There was just a question about that own goal, whether there was an offside leading up to it. When it's flicked through to the winger, there, yeah, it's, it's a hairline decision. But what came after was a disaster. It is just behind the ball. It's a free kick here to Manchester United. Robson's OK. Blackmore. Came off the Mott's head. Jumped very well for that one. Sharp getting in. In towards Pallister's in there, Hughes. The Zachary and uh, following him faithfully out there to corner flag. Hughes turning it in. Mont getting it away again to Garcia. In goes Lamont. Here's Sharp. The tackles are flying in. Garcia bringing it away. He's really quick. He's fairly raw, this number nine. But he's quick and he's brought down there by Robson. It'll be a free kick. They've got quite a pedigree in this competition already so far. In the opening round, they beat PSV Eindhoven, Bobby Robson's team, winning 1-0 in Montpellier and getting a very good goalless draw in Eindhoven, and then trounced Stal Bucharest of uh, Romania in the next round. On an aggregate of 8-0. Gilbert, who caused all the damage. Should add that Stal Bucharest at that time had lost with the uh, upheaval in Romania, had lost most of their best players. But they're still obviously a side of some quality. There's Blanc going up. Hit in low. And there's an edginess about Manchester United now after their own goal. That was a missed kick there, really, by Phelan. Just feel that their confidence has been really heavily sapped by that own goal from Lee Martin. So another corner which Colletier will take. Almost came to Subrain. And right across the face of that goal again by Gilbert. And United in serious trouble. really causing some problems this one already uh, Trevor Francis yes that was terrible defending now, I actually felt that Gilbert had scored there but it's quite clear on Montpellier's tactics they're going to defend in numbers pack the midfield and use Garcia and Gilbert as much as they can with their quick pace to cause United problems trying to soak up the United attacks and then use these two on the break here again we see it as you say it looked for um... One ominous moment, it came off Souvrain there, and then it bounces to Jobert, and just hooks it wide of the far post. Free kick to the uh, French. I think a more wide awake referee, Brian, may have given a handball against Souvrain there, because he actually did bring it down with his arm, but, uh, you know, United were very, very lucky to get away with that. So here's Lauren Blanc, French Footballer of the Year, with a long free kick there towards Jobert. Sharp getting in with the header, McClare also in there. Gerrard. It's Les Sealer's ball. Call in uh, 
Glenn Hoddle again. It'll be quite interesting to see whether he feels that Montpellier would have had to change their game plan a good deal with the opening goal there, whether now it's things are back to normal for them. What do you feel about them, Glenn? Well, I think they'll just stick to their guns and how they've prepared for the match. They've uh, obviously gone man for man marking all over the park and left the two front players, Joubert and Garcia, free to uh, exploit the United's defence. I don't think they'll change their tactics at all. And um, one thing I think United have really got to clamp down on Joubert. He's getting a lot of space and he's going to cause problems throughout the night if they don't. Indeed, and uh, Joubert's already popped up on both flanks, so it's a problem for Clayton Blackmore and for Lee Martin. It's a throw for Montpellier on the far side. Gone. On the left of the picture, Hendrik Kasperjak, the Polish manager of the uh, Montpellier side. Played for Poland in the 74 and 78 World Cups and played against England in that famous or infamous game, whichever you like to think, back in 1973 at Wembley. Seely out quickly. Phelan forcing it through to McClare, tries to get it back to Ince. Over on this right-hand side, both Robson and Blackmore. Blackmore with a lot of pace here, gets a corner. And Old Trafford finds its voice again. If you just joined us, 1-1. United going ahead after only a minute, McClare, and then an own goal by Lee Martin, making it 1-1. Sharp with the corner, came off the malt, it'll be another one. It's the malt. Robson making a run for this, Pallister on the far side, but it's the goalkeeper Barabe. that's been uh, heavily criticised recently has been very heavily watered and had an absolute downpour yesterday afternoon and I must say at the moment it's playing a lot better than it's played in recent weeks well, it would appear to me that it is well McClare hustling the goalkeeper the goalkeeper McClare says he's time wasting the referee says he'll have none of it it's given a free kick to Montpellier whistles and booms all around Casey playing it forwards. Garcia coming in with the header. Pallister getting it away. Lenault towards Jobert. Martin very positive that time in the right way. This in the quarterfinals of the Cup Winners' Cup. Already two results from first legs that are in. Legia Warsaw 1, Sampdoria of Italy 0, Dynamo Kiev 2, Barcelona 3. Another match between Liège and Juventus that's being played at this moment. Sorry, Trevor, you were about to say something. Yes, it's not a particularly convincing performance at the moment from United at the back. I'm just wondering how much they're missing the absence of Bruce and Irwin because with the defence having to be reshuffled, one or two players now, like Clayton Blackmore, are playing out of position. He's been playing so much at left back. Lee Martin coming at full back, and now Mal Donaghy playing alongside Pallister. It's definitely had an unsettling effect on the team. I think maybe the own goal has unsettled them uh, terribly as well, because Donaghy had an excellent game against Leeds in the second leg of the Rumbelows and, and slotted in so well alongside Pallister, but they are looking very edgy. There's Garcia getting first to that one. And Garcia writhing on the turf at the moment. A full of games, I tell you. I've seen uh, one or two of their tapes both in Europe and in their domestic program and there's a fair bit of play acting goes on but Garcia still apparently has got a problem just inside now he's getting up and uh, coming back into the action now and in the European Cup uh, Spartak Posco nil Real Madrid nil and Red Star Belgrade 3, Dynamo Dresden 0. That's another corner. Lee Sharp coming across to take it, as you can see. 
coming up to 20 minutes. 1-1 the score here in this Cup Winners' Cup quarterfinal first leg. Leicester deep on the far side of the penalty area. It was a poor corner by Sharp. Lee Sharp again, turning it back to Clayton Blackmore. Pushed in nicely there towards Pallister. Up he goes. Ince goes in there as well. McClare tries to turn it back. Ince, I think, took a bang on the top of the head as he went for that header. Guerin with the header for Montpellier. Here's Pallister. Hughes. Ince. It's a free kick. Roma 3, Anderlecht 0, I hear from the UEFA Cup. Bologna 1, Sporting Lisbon 1. Robson with the free kick, floated towards McClare, touched back by him, almost got it back to Hughes. It was a delicate little free kick by Robson, but here's Jobert for Montpellier. Robson again. Alistair, Blackmore. They need another goal fairly quickly, United, but... Barabe, safe handling there by the French goalkeeper, 24 years old. Martin's header. I think the United supporters are complaining about the goalkeeper taking too many steps, but uh, the Italian referee is uh, quite familiar with this in Italy because they're not particularly severe. Many times we've seen Zenga take as many as 10 paces and don't seem to blow up for it in Italy. So I'll be surprised if the referee does actually award a free kick for United tonight. Well, let's keep an eye on him. Martins header. Up goes Sharp. United throw. 22 minutes gone, Manchester United won, Montpellier won. Quarter-final of the European Cup Winners' Cup with a second leg to come in the south of France in a fourth. Turn Colette. Back more. Hughes. Just look how closely he's being marked by his marker, uh, Zachary. So Mike Phelan might take it. Sharp making no move to get across there at the moment. Yep, they're going to leave it to Clayton Blackmore instead. Pallister again could be the target man. Robson as ever right inside that box. Ince is in there too. Knocked in again. They're not delivering good corners tonight to United. Heel. Feeling. Header to Blackmore. Thumped away by Blanc again. Great player, and he uh, gets his ration of goals. He's second in the league goal scorers behind uh, Jean Pierre Papin in the French first division. Hughes trying to get in there. Robson in there as well. Hughes in there. McClare. Shot charge down. It comes to Lee Sharp. Base to Paul Ince, but uh, there must have been at least eight Frenchmen back in that uh, penalty area. Nice, gets it back to Barabé. They've got their confidence back now, Montpellier, they're going to be very hard to break down, Trevor Francis. 
Yes, they've certainly got numbers back in defence. I'm not particularly impressed with the way they're defending. I think that United have got to try and get the ball as often as they can to Sharp, because he is definitely the danger man. Here's Ince, but he's shown far too much of that to Blanc. It's a strange balance, actually, in the United team, because they don't play with an attacking right-sided player, so it's important that Clayton Blackmore gets forward as far as he can on this right-hand side, because Mike Phelan's playing on the right-hand side, but he can't really take a wide position off. Sharp. There. Tackled there by Lamont. And uh, Manchester United get a free kick. Oh, they don't get a free kick. At least they got up and shook their heads at each other like a couple of old pros and just clapped each other on the back and got on with the game. Referee saw nothing wrong. Martin with the throw, Paul Ince. Trainers are on, the uh, French trainer also on, I think possibly oh, he's having a look at Ponatier. kick for Manchester United. Zacharyan getting there first. Peyton Blackmore. Phelan. Leclerc to Phelan. Hughes waiting in the middle. It's Blackmore again. We looked for a good cross there. It didn't come. Donaghy just half beaten to the ball there by Garcia, but it still falls for Peyton Blackmore. Good cross in there. Fisher away. Sharp on that far side. And a good cross in here by Blackmore. The goalkeeper very unconvincing there. There's Sharp's work. And see just how close Hughes was to getting that vital touch. Trevor Francis. Yes, it was unfortunate really that Mark Hughes didn't take up a wider position at the far post because he could have just run the ball over the line there. It was good work from Lee Sharp. Intelligent play once again, put the ball to the far post, hoping to find a teammate. Watch on this occasion, Mark Hughes wasn't there. Offside against Robert. Donaghy with the free kick for Manchester United. Coming up to the half hour now. 1 1 the score. Guerin. Ice playing it forward. Alistair for Manchester United. All to get 40,000 crowd here. I 
confident at the moment that Lee Martin could do with having one, a good, uh, one or two good useful touches on the ball because uh, the crowd is starting to get him after conceding that on goal. His confidence is down a little bit, so it's important now that, that the crowd try and encourage him. In the meantime, here's Jobir for Montpellier. Look at that for pace, Garcia, missed kick. And United defence were in tatters again for a moment. There's a lot of space for Jobert and also for Garcia, who made a mess of his shot. Phelan, good header. Hughes, Phelan, crowd trying to get behind Manchester United again. Remote to Bice, the fullback now. Robson's after him. Oh, that could be a problem for Robson. That could be a yellow card. It is. And I don't think Brian Robson, frankly, can argue greatly about that. So a yellow card for Manchester United's captain. It's already been given. And it'll be a free kick for Montpellier. Vice the full back. Garcia, number nine. Chauvet is lurking as well. Good jump by uh, Donaghy. Chauvet chasing, this is up to Cini. The fisting away wasn't very good. But it bought them a little bit of time. Feeling with a good header though. And a free kick for Manchester United. Donaghy. Playing it for Pallister. Chaubert. Donaghy uh, kept his foot in there, that's why the free kick's been given. It's just returning to the booking of Brian Robson. I think it was forced upon Brian because he was completely surprised by the pace of Vice. And that is one of the noticeable things about this French team, is that they are very well prepared, the condition is excellent, and they have some very, very quick players. No doubt United have got a very, very severe test here at Old Trafford tonight with perhaps an even bigger one to come in Montpellier. Martin getting it forward to Sharp. But Weiss quickly to close on him that time. Garcia, nice little touch here by the Frenchman. And Blackmore getting in. Gets it away. Up to Sharp again. Sharp brought down that time in the free kick. Lee Martin for Manchester United. Vice against Sharp. Came off the Frenchman. Manchester United's throw. Quite a new club, Montpellier, only formed in 1974 recently up into the first division of the French League in 1987 but winners of the French Cup they beat Racing Paris 2-1 at the end of last season Lee Sharp then with the corner for Manchester United to Lee Martin there's his cross it's not a bad one two French defenders going for that one though Pallister just nodding it back in Phelan tried to get it back going again but Der Zakarayan was there first Moss header. Hughes. Zacharyan. Blackmore. Long cross. Sharp trying to get it back again, but it'll be a throw to Montpellier. So four of this 
Montpellier's side have already are carrying yellow cards from previous games, and Weiss, the right back, is one of them. Of course, if they get another one here tonight, any of those four players, they second leg against Manchester United. Only Paulitz of United's players is carrying that burden. So another problem there for Brian Robson. Brian Robson, of course, with one yellow card. Escape there. Donaghy. Blackmore. Get towards Hughes. In goes Robson. Touched by McClare. Comes to Robson again. Forward to McClare, being chased by Lucchesi. Another corner. Well, they're getting their fair ration of corners, Manchester United, as yet they aren't delivering them with any great accuracy. Let's see what Clayton Blackmore can do with this one. Well, played it short to McClare. Now to Blackmore. Kicked in there with the outside of the boots. In fact, Hughes thought for a moment it was good. Hughes does well, and the keeper does well there. Lee Sharp again. Forward towards Garcia, cut out by Donaghy. Politaire, that's a good ball through to Garcia, and Martin gets it back, a safe back cross. Zakarian, Guerin, Souverain, the Dutchman. This is Lamolt. And here's Ince. Played forward to Hughes. Back again for Ince. Robson. Finds Blackmore. It'll be a Manchester United throw. Donaghy. Phelan. Blackmore. Towards Hughes. Well, for a moment, we were going to see one of those magical Hughes turns and volleys. The French have been studying uh, United so closely over the last few weeks, they know all about him. Blackmore again. It's a good long cross there towards Sharp on the far side. In fact, the defender almost headed it back into trouble. Garcia. In goes Fieler. That's some space out here now for Blackmore. There's his cross. But Blanc was behind it. Throw to Manchester United. About seven minutes to go to the interval. 1 1 the score. Trevor? Yes, I'm a bit uh, concerned actually with the, uh, the way that Garcia and Gilbert are playing because they're not directly playing as out and out strikers. They're playing in little areas just off the front players, off the uh, defenders, I should say, for United. And the United defenders are afraid to come with them, so they're picking a lot of balls up to their feet. And it's certainly causing problems because they have the ability to turn and run at the United defenders, and that's causing problems. Well, the other problem here is that Gary Pallister, after getting that header, landed badly. And Jim McGregor being invited on. Just wonder if it's possible to have another word with Neil Webb in a moment. Just to get his feelings coming towards half-time about uh, Manchester United's performance. And that's Garcia. And that's how Alistair injured himself. 
but he's up and uh, running again. Laurent Blanc with the uh, free kick. Pallister's header. Sudrein playing it. Almost fell for Garcia. Claire, touch for Phelan. Foul by Sudrein, a free kick to Manchester United. Robson hits it straight up ice. Blackmore, Donaghy, McClare, Blackmore. Feeler. It's another corner for Manchester United. Let's see if they can do something a little better with this one. In fact, Lee Sharp's coming across to take it. Robson making a little run towards the near post. Pallister waiting at the far post, even a little too high for him. And it was only one of about six Frenchmen who was able to get it away. They desperately need the impetus of a second goal before half-time, uh, Trevor. Yes, and uh, after an encouraging start, really, you, you can't see at the moment where the goal's going to come from. I'm a bit disappointed that United aren't actually trying to play more to, uh, to Sharp. The number of times the ball has come out here to this right-hand side, they don't really ever recognise right wing team, as I've said before. Lee Sharp is the most attacking player in the, uh, in the forward line, playing in a wide position there. And they're seldom getting the ball to him. He seems to be coming all the time to uh, Phelan in Blackmore, this right position here. Good point. Foul by Robson there, another free kick for Montpellier to be taken by their skipper Blanc. Gilbert again. Is this going to be a problem? Robson got the challenge in. Lamolt. Martin going out there towards him. Lamolt, that's a good cross coming in towards Garcia. Right, they are an extremely well-prepared side. They seem to be quicker onto the ball in most of the cases at the moment than Manchester United. Gilbert. In goes Robson. Atelier's throw. Souverain will take it. To Ryan, a little touch to Chaubert. Straight at Pallister. Robson trying to work it away. Souvrain takes it off him. Very talented player, Souvrain, the number seven. He played a couple of times in that excellent uh, Dutch side that won the 1988 European Championship. Came on as a sub twice. Ince playing it for Phelan. Certainly getting plenty of work. But taking Trevor Francis's point, it would be lovely to played more to that left-hand side to Lee Sharp. Down the right it goes again, and Blanc, this excellent sweeper. Getting it back. It's hard at the moment, Neil Webb, just to see where a goal's coming uh, from for your old team. Yes, unfortunately it is. Um, we haven't lose Lee Sharp as much as what we usually do. Um, Obviously, to concede a goal straight away after going 1 0 up in a European Cup tie is very disappointing. But uh, when we are getting the ball in the box, everyone seems to be running in the line together rather than somebody hanging outside where it's falling and where the couple of French midfield players are picking it up and starting counter attacks. Thank you, Neil. I think what Neil wanted to say there was where he'd be standing. <laughs> yes. It might come for Hughes, and Hughes gets away, but not for long. And over on the right, again, that inclination to play it over on this right-hand side. Phelan, and the whistle's gone, it's a free kick for Montpellier, presumably a foul by Clayton Blackmore on the uh, Joubert. Long
Long with the free kick. Garcia, little backward uh, header there. Chaubert, but the flag was up on the far side. And offside against the Polish international. So time added on for stoppages and one would hope time wasting as well at the end of the first half. One one the score. Up goes McClare. Here's Robson. Throw given to Montpellier. Hope the referee does add uh, time on for time wasting. It's Fila. At last it goes to that far side, but it wasn't a particularly good ball for Sharp and uh, Bice. Was it quickly? They flew Bice over here to have a look at Sharp in one of the league games. Is Blanc getting it away? Wasn't anything you could do about uh, Sharp's run in the first minute, but he's kept a very close watch on the young winger since then. It'll come to Martin, but the whistle's gone for another free kick to Montpellier. With uh, Ice in all sorts of problems, it would seem off the field there, but he'll soon be on, don't worry. Magical rate of recovery. It's a throw to Manchester United. 1 1 the score. I suppose a target certainly for Manchester United in the second half would be to get a second one and possibly a third with a 3-1 advantage they would go to France with some confidence anything less than that it's going to be one enormous struggle for them there goes the half-time whistle what a wonderful start it was for Manchester United with that goal in the opening minute by Brian McClare and after that it went downhill so rapidly with the own goal by the unfortunate Lee Martin after some excellent work by Jobir down the left and United really then after that didn't pick up their play They've had a lot of the game, but the French have defended well and have looked very dangerous themselves on the break. The half-time score at Old Trafford then in this uh, Cup Winners' Cup quarter-final first leg is Manchester United 1, Montpellier 1. Welcome back, the perfect start for Manchester United and then that most precious of commodities in European football for Montpellier, the away goal. Neil Webb really couldn't have had a better start. No, he couldn't have uh, asked for the lads to start with uh, an aggressive attitude to get to take the game. Uh, Mark Hughes, tremendous ball there. Uh, Lee Sharp does exceptionally well here, running straight into the box, straight in. Uh, I don't know if he looks up, but he cuts the ball back brilliantly for Graham McClare to run into. And uh, if we'd have continued that momentum, then perhaps uh, we wouldn't have been caught with the, the equaliser. You, you actually said then, Glenn, that uh, you thought Montpellier might collapse. Yes, they're, they're a pretty fragile um, side. Uh, when things are going well for them, they can play superb. I thought they might collapse, but obviously they got the lucky break that uh, they were looking for. <laughs> and as it builds up, uh, this is the lad, uh, Gilbert, who's given us problems all night long. And uh, he's linked up very well with Garcia, and a lovely bit of vision here, a little bit of a suspicion of offside. Keeps his head, he whips one across, and obviously, there's just a lack of concentration there from uh, Lee Martin. It's uh, probably just, his first touch in the game, yeah, maybe. Just picking on your, your point of whether it was offside or not, Neil, what would you put? Well, I looked across the line and he looks about half a yard, but the linesman's not in, the, it's not in line with play there, and uh, he was sleeping a wee bit, I think, I think the it's fine there also, he's behind the ball. Yeah, it um, didn't look it there, funnily enough, whereas yeah. it did the first time we saw it. Yeah. But from Neil Martin's point of view, from Lee Martin's point of view, a young man who experienced such a great high when he scored the winning goal at Wembley, you can imagine how he feels at the moment. Yeah, he's not uh, had very many starts this year for us. Obviously, Clayton's been playing exceptionally well at left back. And uh, like Glenn said, it's probably his first touch of the ball, and it comes across very low and hard. Uh, he's got to make his mind up where he's going to 
just smash it out the ground or, or try and play it comfortably and he took the wrong, you know, unfortunately. Glenn, wrong we, we mentioned Jabir at the start and he, he might have put them in the lead. Yeah, he's, he's turned and hooked on that one and it's just gone past the far post and they've stamped down on this lad. He's, he's given, causing them a lot of problems. Nobody's marking him and uh, he's got a lot of pace and uh, they're going to have a few problems if they don't uh, man for man mark him a little bit closer. Right, we said right at the start of the programme, his speciality is the counter-attack, and that's certainly how it's proved in the first 45 minutes. Well, let's find out what the view down is from the dugout, because uh, Neil's mate Steve Bruce is down there with Gary Newborn. Steve, everyone's agreeing that the own goal was a turning point and the key to that first half. What was going through Lee Martin's mind when he turned it into his own net? Well, I don't think um, any of us can say what was going through his mind. It was just one of those errors, and um, unfortunately for Lee... Um, you know, six months ago in May, he was the hero for us, and uh, all of a sudden tonight he's turned out to be the villain, but um, he's got to live with that, like all, all of us have. It's stunned everybody into silence, and uh, we've got to get on with it now. He seemed to place it so well, didn't he? Yeah, I think any, any strike would have been proud of it, but um, it uh, certainly comes as a shock to everybody, and um, let's hope Lee gets over it, which I'm sure he will do. So Manchester United have conceded an away goal, which in European football is so often the difference between winning and losing. You could say Manchester United need a couple of goals after the break. Join us again. pick up on Alex Ferguson's theme this week but uh, there is an entirely different approach to European style football. Glenn Hoddle, uh, English clubs have lost their practice really haven't they over the past few years. Uh, how, do you, how do you think that this will, this will have a bearing on the second half now? Well I think they have lost their bearings a little bit obviously by not playing against continental sides but uh, I would imagine Alex Ferguson would, would have roused them up at half time and I would, I would think that they're going to improve a lot at this half. And I think uh, Montpellier, not really known as a defensive side, and I think there will be a few chances going for United this half. What did Alex say to the team in, in that respect before the start of the game, Neil? Well, obviously the main aim was to keep a clean sheet, but obviously now that's gone. Uh, we need to take a lead to Montpellier, I think. I think that's the, the most important thing about the second half. We need to get a second goal. Uh, obviously 2-1's two, two not ideal, but uh, to take a lead anywhere. Uh, in the world it is, is a good uh, bonus for us really. So just to include, do you think he might have said, look, don't panic, one more will do, let's just go to France with a lead? Yeah, as long as we don't concede another one at home and uh, just take the game to them like we did in the first five minutes of the first half and, and just see if they can crumble under the pressure a bit. OK, Neil Glenn for the time being, thank you very much, thank you very much indeed. Let's rejoin Trevor Francis and Brian Moore. Thanks a lot, Elton. Certainly if Manchester United do uh, can see the second goal, it almost certainly would be all up with them. They won a second goal themselves, possibly a third one. And we're waiting for the Dutchman Souvrein last to come onto the field before we can get this second half underway. No substitutes at the moment on either side. And away we go. 45 minutes left for Manchester United to rescue themselves from a very difficult second leg in Montpellier with a really a skillful attacking second half that uh, brings a goal or two with it. And let's hope Lee Sharp, number 11, sees a lot more of this ball down this left flank to excite us in the, uh, in the second half. A throw to Manchester United. Lee Martin will take it. In terms of looking for goals, when you look at Manchester United substitutes, is uh, Danny Wallace, who's not in the best form at the moment, and uh, Mark Robbins, another striker, just back after injury. Trevor? Yes, I was thinking if he was going to make a change, it would be Danny Wallace coming on the right-hand side. That's the area I feel that, I feel that they need uh, to attack a little bit more, because they're not getting the right type of balls in from that right-hand side. And I'd also like to see perhaps one of the midfield players, possibly Brian Robson or Paul Ince, playing a little bit closer to Mark Hughes. Mark is taking a lot of balls on his chest, held them well, but he certainly needs closer support. He's also certainly being well marked at the moment by uh, Der Zakarian, the number four. Chris Blanc getting that one away for Montpellier. Donachy to Pallister, nicely controlled, turn nicely here for Lee Martin. Down the left flank now for... Lee Sharp and a 
sharp a little unfortunate there as he was on the ground turning and trying to get the ball away just caught the Frenchman uh, he's down as though he's Polax that's the malt and a whole posse of physio and every time anybody goes down there's a song and dance act from the uh, French bench on their feet as a man, gesticulating and generally having a good old moan. A little unfortunate here, Lee Sharp, uh, seen to me, Trevor. Yes, I think uh, for Lee Sharp tonight, it's a whole new experience for him, really, because uh, he's so used to playing against uh, zonal back forwards in the English First Division, but I think it's the first time for a while that he's actually had a man-to-man -man marker and vice on him. It's something that John Barnes has had to... Uh, experience at international level for many years with England and let's see how Lee Sharp copes with it at the moment it's Hughes having a little scuffle there again with Lamont and uh, well did Bice in fact oh the cards come out a red card the Frenchman goes actually because he got his yellow uh, card out yes but it was definitely a red card offense well, now that's open things up possibly for Manchester United and who knows with Bice the uh, defender off it's sharp playing it in touch towards Clayton Blackmore kick to Manchester United it means of course he misses the second leg in Montpellier there's the free kick for Manchester United fisted away by Barabi Lee Martin there in goes De Zachary and that was a silly challenge by Lee Sharp and this game really could degenerate into a very unpleasant encounter now. The French are up in force from the bench again. And the Italian referee will need now to have eyes everywhere. This could turn into quite an unpleasant evening, Trevor Francis. First reaction was that uh, Mark Hughes was butted, but looking at it there on the slow motion, I'm not so sure he was. Well, let's uh, maybe we can have a look at that replay once more. We've got plenty of time with Lamont still down because it could be such a crucial moment. Mark Hughes going for it. There's Vice going towards him. Was he butted? Well. What do you think at home? It looked to me as though there was very little contact there. Well, I have to say, I've been watched that a couple of times, that uh, Mark Hughes there has done what we've come to uh, be accustomed from, from the Continentals on so many times. He's taken a dive, but he's certainly given his team a bonus because the referee has sent him off. And not only are they without Vice, one of their best defenders, it will certainly give Lee Sharp a little bit more encouragement there because they've had to reorganise at the back and they put a midfield player marking him rather than an orthodox defender. So we could see Lee Sharp coming more into this game. Lamont gets it away. I think it's Guerin who's gone back to, to mark at Lee Sharp. In goes Souvrain, tangling with Robson. Here comes Ince. There's space on the far side for Clayton Blackmore. Back again to Ince. 
Prince. No, didn't quite pick him up. Martin. But away come Montpellier again. Garcia chasing. It's a period when the United players must show a lot of restraint here because they've been very intimidated here by some of the uh, tactics from uh, the, the Montpellier players. And it's important now that United remain with 11 players because to be playing at this moment with just uh, 10 players, it really is uh, an uphill struggle for Montpellier. And United must capitalise on it in this one leg. Geraint with the free kick, Gilbert just behind him. Geraint driving in it, uh, came off the defender for the corner. with the number four, De Zacharian, the man who's marking Mark Hughes. He's has to be in the uh, way himself. Very heavily strapped right leg. A corner then to Montpellier. Something may be thrown from the crowd there that the policeman picked up. Knocked away by Phelan. Gilbert. Ince. Defended there by Souvrain. Another free kick. It's a free kick every 30 seconds at the moment. Now the Rama warming up for Montpellier. So is Danny Wallace for Manchester United. Long is there first. Alistair. Here's trying to shut off his man. It's a free kick. It's the atmosphere of a bear pit out there at the moment. Yes, I feel that uh, with Montpellier losing one of their recognised markers in Vice. It would be a good time now for Alex Ferguson to bring on another attacking player, just to give them one or two more options. Well, he's got uh, Wallace warming up there, there's Danny. Back more to McClare. Ince trying to get in there. Comes to Garcia. Shrugs off the challenge. This is a good run by Garcia. Pallister doing very well indeed. Gilbert. United are not out of the wood yet. Oh, goodness. Almost a replica of what happened after seven minutes of this game as he rifled that ball low across the six-yard area. Lee Martin was almost on the end of that one, just managed to restrain himself. Foul again, a free kick for the foul on uh, Lee Sharp. Here's Jobert again. Look at this cross, it's almost what happened, except on that occasion, you can see Lee Martin allowed it to run. If only he'd done that after seven minutes. 1-1 one, one the score if you just joined us. McClare for Manchester United in the very first minute of the game. And own goal by Lee Martin after seven. And uh, Zacharian, Mark Hughes' marker is down. Time goes spinning away into the night. Let's have another look at the challenge on Mark Hughes that led to a sending off. It's another angle on it. Hughes gets up annoyed with uh, Lemot. And there was a bit of shoving and barging there by Bice. But he didn't have thought the sort of shove that would have forced Hughes to the ground in quite the way that he was. Bice went off. De Zacharian is struggling. To that extent, Manchester United themselves are struggling a little bit at this 1-1 without it 
being apparent where another goal for them might come from. Souverain. Freedom gets it down the line. To Montpellier. The Italian linesman's pointing that way. Leclerc is disappointed. for France B. He's already had a yellow card from uh, a previous game, but he is certainly out of the second. Another foul on Hughes. Another free kick for Manchester. Down to ten men, remember. Blackmore lining up this free kick. Chip there towards Pallister, knocked off uh, Pallister's head. I think it's going to be retaken, Brian. Referee had not blown his whistle. So United gets another go. Danny Wallace stripping off and will shortly be into the action. Let's see what happens with this free kick, though. Clayton Blackman will get another stab at it. Floated again there, but he was trying to pick up Robson that time, but played it just a little too heavily. Well, for Abbey, he's come for two or three crosses, which he's taken quite cleanly, but uh, we've been playing, what is it, almost an hour now, and he's not really been tested. I can't remember him making a, a save. Lee Martin's coming off. Well, it's been a sad night for the 23-year-old. But his own goal really uh, putting Manchester United on the back foot, getting a little pat there from Alec Ferguson, and Danny Wallace comes on. So it's, as Trevor Francis says, an extra attacking option. Wallace. Played there. Just a little too firmly for McClare, and Sharp had gone into that same area. Well, let's hope it's a good night for Danny Wallace. He's been a little low on confidence, it seemed to me. I saw him play against Everton on Saturday, and it really was one of those days when nothing went right for him. Certainly had his troubles with injuries again this season. But on his day, he's quick, and he can be devastating. Here's a foul that time again by uh, Zachariah. Ince with the free kick, no, he's leaving it to Maldonick. Short to Paulitz. Made wide for Phelan. There's the cross coming in, Danny Wallace. Almost got on the end of that one. It's Colletea who puts it away for Montpellier. Push Wallace away out on the right-hand side. by McClare then in any case it was a fairly outrageous dive there by Brian McClare looking for a penalty inside the last half hour 
time when United really have got to step up the pace now and make their numerical advantage pay with by sent off and Montpellier down to 10. Hughes spreading it wide to Phelan. Right back with uh, Clayton Blackmore having come across here to left back. Which I think is his happier position. Just a little bit of frustration creeping into United there. You saw Mel Donaghy moving forward, looking for movement from his uh, forwards. But United not giving the, the same sort of movement as Montpellier. That's one of the features for me of Montpellier's players. Where, that when someone is in possession of the ball, the movement off the ball is excellent. Ints to Hughes. Here's Wallace on the right-hand side. Sue Bryan's going across to uh, challenge him. Joubert's gone back as well. It comes to Paulitz. Driven there, but straight at the keeper. Ince has never scored for Manchester United with Old Trafford. Tonight would be an excellent time to break that duck. Phelan. A throw for Montpellier. Patrick Colletier, Freeman's header, Colletier forward, Donaghy nicely killed, Pallister, Donaghy, just can't get themselves uh, going at the moment. Fluency at all, Trevor Francis. No, well, once again there you saw Mel Donaghy in possession of the ball and he was looking for movement from his front players and there was McClair and Hughes stationary. They're not giving them the movement that uh, the back players need. Well, Garcia's after this one, Seely is there. And just over 41,000 here, a foul on Gilbert. and walking away from the referee who once awarded him. The referee indicating that uh, the Polish player should get up. Danny Wallace doing his best to help him up and being told in no certain terms by the Frenchman to get away. Danny suggesting it's a dive. The referee's already given the free kick to Montpellier. Has already decided he doesn't want their physios on. And Joe Bear again, his magical recovery pass, gets up and gets on with it. Bear with a shot, and as well that uh, Seeley was alert. Not easy for a goalkeeper because Seeley's had next to nothing to do, but that was a difficult shot there for a moment. It's trying to get away from the moat, turns and finds Souverain in his way. Joubert cutting it out. It's a very good away performance by the Frenchman. Looking uh, full of confidence, good teamwork, as you say, good movement off the ball. Some pretty fair defending as well. And a really difficult task now for Manchester United, but Pallister coming forward again. Played wide this time for Blackmore. So often we see foreign teams come to England to play and uh, we, we see them with suspect characters, but uh, these players tonight have been very, very determined. In fact, at times, they've been more determined than some of the United players. They're much quicker to the ball, they have better ideas, and the most important thing of all, apart from the movement which I mentioned, is that the passing is far better than United. A foul by on Sharp by Souvrain. Blackmore with the uh, free kick, unless Sharp has a go at it. Discussing it amongst themselves and deciding it's going to be Lee Sharp. Going to get in there. Out as far as Paul Ince, driven back by him, but well wide of the Montpellier goal. 
only goal he's ever scored for Manchester United in the Littlewoods Cup last season. That's in September 89, almost 18 months ago. I remember he was down at Portsmouth. Yes, he would probably feel he should have done a bit better there because uh, the ball came to him nicely as he chested it down. He wasn't closed down particularly quickly. He had a free shot at goal and uh, I would think he would like to have put that one on target. Chaubert. Halfway through the second half now. Still Manchester United 1, Montpellier of France 1. Here's Blackmore, played for Sharp, now a bit of space. Sharp playing it in now for Brian Robson. A lovely cross by Robson. Wallace trying to turn it back in, Hughes in there, Hughes! And Blackmore having it charged away, United closer than they've been to a goal since the very first minute of the game. For a moment, it looks like it might fall, it might have fallen to Hughes. Great run by Robson and a lovely cross at the end of it. Trevor? Yes, it was a good play from Brian. The keeper there was flapping at that, and it's a good chance for United. They've got numbers into the box, which is important. Pallister underneath this head up. Only Donachie stays back. back. There for Wallace. They do need this second goal, Manchester United. A little over 20 minutes left to get it. Robson again. No foul on Hughes that time. More. For Sharp. Now Sharp will get to that one. Hughes or other McLean. But it's a throw nonetheless for Montpellier. Right, more. Robson. Pallister. This is Lamolt. Garcia. Jobert's made a run towards the centre, but there's Donachie getting in before Lamolt finds Sharp. Challenged unfairly there by Guerin. That's a yellow card, and Guerin will miss the second leg as well because he's already had one earlier on in this competition. And in fact, he was sent off against uh, PSV Eindhoven. Was for the uh, foul on Lee Sharp, Trevor Francis. I could deal with Garcia and Joe getting a couple of yellow cards because they've been a danger all night tonight, and the yes. way they've played, they're going to be a threat over in France. Sharp gets the head up. There's Robson. Oh. It's that wide of uh, Blackmore. Lamont. Robson gets it back quite comfortably to Lessini. It's with Freeman. Now, can Wallace pick this one? Nope. Gilbert got there before him. It's a one-man band up front now at the moment, getting a bit of support from Garcia. In comes Ince for Manchester United. Play it down the left now for Blackmore. And then in for Hughes. Blackmore. Hughes. Good challenge by De Zacharian. Pallister. Foul given against Mark Hughes there, backing in on uh, De Zacharian. Hughes might be a little surprised by that decision. Well, we're inside the last 20 minutes. Pallister up, supported by Phelan. But 
So Colatea showed much quicker than Danny Wallace for that one. Jobert just keeping it in play. Garcia. And Robson gets it back. More to Hughes. Foul this time by the marker on Mark Hughes. To Zacharian. Blackmore with the kick. Pallister had gone up for that, but hadn't really positioned himself, and it wasn't a very good kick in any case by uh, Blackmore. And it's blocked the sweeper who's making the break until it stops him in his drive. So he gets back. Ince comes forward, rallying Manchester United again. McClare, Blackmore, Ince. United throw. Still, they can't make this advantage playing against ten men pay. But Hughes finds Robson. Might try a shot from here, no. Phelan. There's the cross coming in again towards Mark Hughes. <laughs> Carol Francis. Well, it was a good ball in here from Phelan, and there looks to be a reasonably good chance of Mark Hughes. He comes in there with a good header, and uh, unfortunately for United, he heads it straight in the centre of the goal. It's an, an easy take for the keeper. Robson. Bit of freedom for him here. Paul Ince. A little chip by him, and it's too high for Danny Wallace. And it might just be the effort that ten men are putting in for Montpellier is beginning to tire those legs a little bit, and United chances might be a little easier to come by in the last what have we got 16 minutes that was out of play I'm a little surprised the position that Danny Wallace has taken up since he's come on because he's playing a lot of the time down the centre of the, uh, the attack with Mark Hughes and Brian McClare alongside him and I think it'd be more beneficial if he's given a bit more width to go out on the touchline Hughes trying to get it out to the touchline there for Freeler. And here's Gilbert again, Alistair. A steady game again at the back for Manchester United. Blackmore. Leading from Leclerc. Blackmore again. Good challenge that time, though. By Lucchese. That came off Danny Wallace. If he was to play it wide, it would certainly stretch the Montpellier defence. And also on the flanks, of course, is the green grass. It's so heavy down the centre, the best place is to play your football yes. is on the, t on the flanks, where the grass is. I think to many people watching at home tonight, Trevor, the biggest mystery of the night will be how little, as we've said before, Lee Sharp has got it down those flanks. Again, the crowd complaining about the number of steps that uh, Barabe is taking. And it seems such an obvious tactic, particularly after what happened in the very first minute of the game. But Sharp really hasn't had a sensible run of the ball since. There's Robson. Sharp playing it inside for Ince. Tried to get him going then. I think Lee Sharp has found it hard tonight, O'Brien, because as I said before, it's the first time really he's come up against uh, stringent man-to-man -man marking, and he's finding it all part of his uh, growing up process. I think at times we come to expect too much from this lad. He's had a magnificent season, but we must remember he's only 19 years of age. And to continue to expect him to be the man of the match is not really fair on him. Yes, maybe our expectations were built to such an extent in the opening minute that we just wanted him going on doing that. But certainly he should have seen more of the ball. There's Geran getting before him. Oh, a bad challenge there, at least uh, an untimely challenge there by uh, Alistair. Fortunately, he didn't uh, touch Geran. Going to the goalkeeper. And they'll be taking all the time they can now, and really, I suppose you'd expect that of them. And if it were the same thing happening in Montpellier, you would expect just that from Manchester United. So United have got to force the going as much as they can now.
offside against Jobert, a free kick to Manchester United. In fact, it's been a very well-disciplined performance from Montpellier. We continually talk about United uh, getting a second goal, but my worry is that they're going to break away Montpellier and score themselves. A throw to Montpellier. And a goal kick. Juan, who takes all the goal kicks for Montpellier. Hughes battling away there. Lamont gets it away very skillfully. On the charge again for Manchester United. McLeod one side of him, Sharp making a break through the middle for him. Still with Robson, brought down though by Blanc. And for a moment the referee was going to look for a yellow card. And Blanc, another of those players, has already had one in an earlier game. No yellow card. A free kick for Manchester United. Vince and Blackmore lining it up. Blackmore's kick. That is safe. Shaking your head, Trevor. Yes, well, it was on target, but for me that was a waste because that was uh, that wasn't nothing really. It wasn't a shot or anything. It was just an easy uh, take for the goalkeeper Barabi. Canister for United. Got to keep driving forward. Looking for the break. Blackmore. Joubert. Slipping free for a moment. Both of McClare and of Phelan. He really has been a problem, and you can just imagine the problem he's going to be in the second leg in front of his own fans. <laughs> offside flag, United had come forward quickly, caught uh, Garcia offside. Robson. Lifting it towards Hughes, trying to get it down to McClare. Two, four, six defenders were back in that penalty area. Back it goes in there again, Hughes chasing this one. Barabi there, just beating Paul Ince to it. Sharp with a throw for Manchester United. Blackmore back to him. Blackmore playing it in. Alistair poised underneath this one. Danny Wallace in there as well, the whistle's gone. Headbutting, but he definitely didn't do it. He says it's an injustice. As the player, up, there was just a slight brush. He's absolutely staggered, Brian, that he's been sent off. Thank you, Gary Newborn. Bice upset that he was sent off for an alleged challenge on Mark Hughes. Inside the last 10 minutes now. Even 1-1 gives Manchester United possibilities, of course, in the second leg. What it does mean is that they would, uh, of course, have to score in France because a 0-0 between uh, Montpellier going through on the away goal. It appears that Alex Ferguson's made a tactical switch now with just 10 minutes of the game left. He's playing with just three at the back, Phelan, Pallister and uh, Donachy. Blackmore has moved from his left-back position now into a central midfield area. 
Played in three different positions against Everton on Saturday and three different positions again tonight, Clayton Blackmore. Started at right back, moved to left back, now is centre midfield. Robson. Touched by Danny Wallace, comes back again to Robson. Tries to get uh, Wallace again. But Lucchese, number three for Montpellier. Defending with... Warding gives it away to Wallace. And Lamolt had to get in to clear the lines for Montpellier. Blackmore. Souverain. Lamolt. Phelan. goes Manchester United's way, whether that's a throw or whether it's a free kick over on that touchline. A challenge by Garcia. A free kick it is. Mike Phelan with it. Plays it quickly to Lee Sharp on that side. Sharp with a long-range shot. And Donaghy for Manchester United. Let's have a look at the watch. About seven minutes. Pallister. Again up towards Hughes. Ince playing it now for Sharp. Can United do something here? Well, and McClare went diving in there, did a somersault, but didn't make a contact. This moment was exactly the break Manchester United wanted. Ince playing it in for Lee Sharp. McClare just failing to get a touch. Sort of areas we've been wanting Lee Sharp to get in all night. It was a good driven ball from Lee there, and uh, McClare just inches away from it. And that's the sort of ball that he needs to put in. Well, he has a little over six minutes now to do it again. Long, turning around, aware that Sharp was there. Long has become uh, a regular member of Michel Platini's French national side. And Montpellier are going to make a substitution. They're going to bring on uh, Zureb, who's a striker. Let's see who they're taking off. I believe it's Garcia now. Garcia. So a striker for a striker, Garcia coming off. He's done well tonight, Garcia. He's been a constant threat throughout this game. Good experienced player, Zureb. He's got an Olympic gold medal. He's scored over 100 league goals in the French first division, and he's coming on now, number 50. Robson. Pallister. Hughes out jumped. Comes to Blackmore again in that midfield position of his. Robson playing it in. Trying to get it through for McClare. Manchester United throw. Robson everywhere at the moment trying to whip up this United into a last big effort. Robson in there again. Touched on by Ince. Will it come for Sharp? Back over his head. Robson Souvrain who got it away for Montpellier. Donaghy. Everything now compressed into that third of the field. And a free kick for Montpellier. The French Cup winners know that there's another five minutes only to survive. The age one Juventus three in the Cup Winners' Cup, a result from Belgium coming through. European Cup, AC Milan won, Marseille, Chris Waddle's team won. Bayern won, Porto won is another result from the European Cup. It's a great performance by uh, Marseille, the uh, French champions. Won one in the San Siro Stadium in Milan, and the Frenchmen here are doing well with a 1-1. 
as you can see. So little time left, just a little over three minutes left now. Alistair. Up goes Hughes, beaten in the air. Blackmore trying to get it in. Blanc getting it away. Jobert, the man who's caused so many problems up front, right back there now, getting it away. Manchester United's throw. Maldonaghy will take it. The Mole, away into touch. Anywhere that's safe will do for Montpellier now. <laughs> Alex Ferguson knows that time is running out, that it's a real knife edge situation that they will take to France for this second leg. Hughes trying to get there. It looked like a handball actually by Mark Hughes as he went for that ball. It wouldn't mean by any means that Manchester United are out of it. It will certainly be a troublesome second leg for them. Some wrestling going on there between Jureb and uh, Donaghy. A free kick to Manchester United. It's with Robson. Now with Pallister. Getting it wide to Phelan, but it was a poor pass. And Jobert couldn't pick it up either. Jureb. Souverain has made a break. United, even at this late stage, we've got to be aware of the breakaway. Leclerc trying to get to grips with Jobert. The shade of odds would certainly favour Montpellier with this result going to the second leg. As I say, it's still not all up with Manchester United. It's important, Brian, that when you have the extra man, that you pass the ball around until you eventually find the extra man. But unfortunately tonight, United's passing hasn't been particularly good. And that's what's let them down on many occasions. They're not making use of the extra man at all. And you will certainly be able to see that uh, second leg on ITV. As, as in a fortnight's time, it's played on the Tuesday. It's, uh, it's Tuesday. Montpellier want to make another substitution to bring on uh, Brouard. Taking off Souverain. It's an old tactic, Trevor France, isn't it? Last few minutes of the game. It takes up a few more seconds. It's something I told, about, I told you about in you Italy, Brian. Indeed, yes. Continentals always use it. It wastes a few seconds. McClare. Pallister. Off towards Ince. The keeper. Buffon. Not so well there, but he did well enough there as McClare tried to hook it back over his head. It was a very iffy punch come push there by uh, Barabe. But when McClare turned it back, there's a great goalkeeper not at his best. But that was an excellent piece of goalkeeping there by him. Yes, a couple of times he's flat there. He's obviously called there for the ball for Blunt to leave it. But uh, once again there we saw him flapping. But uh, unfortunately tonight he just hasn't been tested enough. Inside the last minute, United just haven't been able to play and make this. Uh, Numerical advantage pay. Ten men have battled well against them, but here United again looking as Blackmore turns it in. But the defenders were lining up there from France to get that one away. Blackmore turning it in again, but Lamont getting that one away from Montpellier. Foul the free kick. Foul on Blackmore. A free kick for Manchester United. We're in time added on at the end of 90 minutes. How much will he this Italian referee? Blackmore heaving it into the centre again. Pallister's right in there. Robson turning it back again towards Ince. Robson again. Hughes turning it wide for Phelan. Back in it comes again, but Jared. It was a poor cross by Phelan. It's a throw for United. The last seconds of the game. Desire, delighted with this result. A foul on uh, Blackmore. Ajoreb. A throw to Manchester United. Robson. Donaghy. Just got to bang 
it straight back into that half of the field, surely. Oh, and Jobert is away. This could be a real problem. And there's a great chance for them. And Cini, oh, just saved at the last. Now that would have been a total disaster for Manchester United. But for Clayton Blackmore. And Jobert almost putting the game out of United's reach. Jobert again. And enter Blackmore at the crucial moment. A corner then for Montpellier. Still well into time added on for injuries. Robson. United have never lost a home leg in a European game over all the years. They very nearly did then, though. There goes the final whistle, though. No. Crowd thought so. Yes, it is the final whistle. It finishes in a 1-1 draw. There's still everything to play for in the second leg. But the odds now are shaded towards the Frenchman after McClare have given Manchester United that wonderful start with a goal in the first minute. And then the own goal by Lee Martin. Montpellier reduced to ten men early in the second half, but United still couldn't make that count for them. And so they face a very stiff battle indeed in the second leg. The full-time score then, it's Manchester United 1, Montpellier of France 1.